Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. So I spent some time between episodes familiarizing myself with both the controls and the interface and the, frankly, overly complex uh, mechanic system for weapons and armor and stuff like that. Um, there's all these different weapons and armor types and reload times and crit chance and all kinds of stuff. Um, damage types, ammo. Um, we'll go through everything kind of as we come along it, in my mind. Um, I don't see any particular reason why I would want to... Um, sit here and read all this stuff to you. Oh, this is interesting. So this is one icon. This is um, pristine. You can see that I'm trying to point at the screen with my finger. That's not helping. Uh, the cell value is much higher, despite the fact that this has the same rating for me. So why don't I just hold on to that pristine one and maybe I will sell it. So anyway, so there's that. So I now have a sword in case I decide to use it. Um, I've got a pistol, which I'm not going to shoot, but you know, has a nice zoom. And um, all of them can do a quick knockback and I have a shotgun which I'm also not going to shoot in here. That also has a nice knockback. So, I feel like I am pretty well prepared to head out. We are going to go and we are going to find a power regulator, correct? Journal. Um, no, quests. Here we go. Main quest. Uh, yep, talk to whoever runs the town. Not a problem. Let's go do it. Hold the E. Okay. Oh, and for movement. The reason... Because Wait, we sure walked sorry. in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister... You owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Um... Uh... Let's see here. Can I lie? <laughs> yeah, you know, you've got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I had okay. no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. All right, take care. All right, but I am going to say nice things to her supervisor because I did kind of lie to her. Okay, so um, I can jump to the sides. I can make quick dodges and also backwards. But um, jumping forward is a leap attack, and you have to actually unlock that. So that's why that doesn't happen. So there's that. All right. I'm going to run around with a shotgun out just in case of any close encounters. I don't really know what I'm looking for in terms of, like, other stuff. So I figured, you know what? Let's just follow quest markers for a few minutes, and then once I know what's going on... Wow. Very nice. What was I saying? Uh, once I know what's going on, then, you know, then we can do a little more rambling, but... We'll, uh, we'll kind of just move through this beginning part here. Oh, a goon. Should we sneak up on him or just sprint up to him and shoot him in his face? I agree. Let's do that. You hiding? Not anymore. <laughs> oh, you've got a gun. Stop that. And that is the end of that. Oh, wait. Nope. I'm sorry. I thought you were dead. I wasn't paying enough attention to your meter. So, okay. Um, If you saw... Which I did not, because I kind of popped things up too fast and then ran away. When you're um, in the slow time, in your tactical time, I, don't, I guess I don't know what to call it. Anyway, when you're using VATS, did I take all your stuff? Okay. When you're using VATS um, and you're standing still, you can just kind of look at a person and it'll show you where their weak spots are, what they're vulnerable to, you know, what kind of weapons um, might be effective against them. So I'll try to remember to do that the next time we see some baddies. I can't believe I already forgot I have VATS. That took me literally none seconds to forget it was there. Sorry, I gotta look at these views. This is pretty nice looking. Hope it translates well on your side, because it looks pretty good to me. It's a few hitches, but it's better than lots of loading screens. Ooh, look! What's that? Hold on, we'll go back to the quest. What is this thing? Let's go look at it. A little. Just, just, just quick. I mean, it's got big glowing things coming out of it. Whoa. Primal Brute. You know what? Maybe we're not going to wander over there. Let's go back to Edgewater. Let's poke around. Let's talk to people. Let's see, uh... Let's see where I can get a power regulator. Is that what I'm looking for? A power regulator? Something like that? Anyway, cemetery. Hi, Silas. Hi, robot. You look sad. Like, doesn't this robot look sad? 
I think he looks sad. Anyway, never mind. Oh, hey, where'd you come from? Nowhere. Why? Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Oh, you're right. Um, why do you say that? It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder's disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Yeah. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Ooh. Um, should I be nice to you? Um, nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, a captain of the Unreliable. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that. On you. <laughs> Thank you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. All right. Um, let's see here. Um, who do I talk to about finding a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Sounds like a plan. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Um, depends on the work. You offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Ooh. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Um, let's see here. Medical collected stew, you're making people pay for their own graves? That's a heck of a thing. You're making people pay for their own graves? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Huh. So why can't you just go collect these fees yourself? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know? Alright. You know what? I will collect your fee for you because I'm feeling like a nice guy. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Done. Uh, why is he a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis barbershop? works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. I'm all right. Um, was there anything else I wanted yeah. to ask him? I don't remember now. Um, let's see here. Well, let's just talk through him. Um, town's in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say... Those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. Ooh. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Hmm. And you're not worried about getting sick, huh? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. Hmm. A body grows accustomed. Does it just? All right. Well, good talking to you. And you make an excellent point that I should not be running around in this gear... While I'm in town, let's wear um, just our hibernation suit and we don't need a helmet. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just rock around kind of as things are. So, can we pick our quests? Um, a small grave matter? Set is active? Should I do that or should I go talk to the person? Let's go talk to the person. Hello. Yeah, let's make sure and wear the right clothes so that we don't piss people off. Last thing we want to do is get mistaken for raiders, right? Edgewater Employment Community. Anything around here I can steal? I do enjoy me some stealing. You know, provided no one's around it. Notice me. Hello? 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 No one will notice that any of this stuff is gone. I need these lockpicks. I need them more than you do. I assure you. Toilet. Sink. Um, delicious, delicious foods. Bit cartridges, huh? All right. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm glad I ran in here. Energy cells. I have no compunctions whatsoever about stealing from people that are not standing around, keeping me from stealing them. Um, do I want to try to pick this? Yeah, sure. Let's pick it. 
Criminal activities. Yep, they're all considered illegal. Avoid being seen. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Neat. We'll check all this out here in just a minute, I promise. A bypass shunt. Um, I could get some sleep. Anything else good over here? Um, bit of cartridges. Wow, that was pretty cool. Alright, let's take a look at all this stuff we just grabbed. <laughs> Alright, so we have another weapon, another sawed-off shotgun. Um, this one's actually in better shape. We may as well... Let's see here, long guns. Okay, we'll, we'll just swap them out for the moment, that's fine. Um, we have a shovel. That's good for us. Got our various armors. Um, got our Adreno. So, modifications. So, um... Changes the weapon's damage type to plasma. Oh, interesting. So there's different damage types. Um, plasma is, let's see here, I think like kind of the most, let's see here, our codex. I can show you, where did I find that? Combat. Damage types. Plasma is good against flesh, weak against whatever these bad guys are. That's not good. So I actually may want to switch one of my primary weapons to plasma. Hmm. We'll have to think about that. And we get anything else good here? We've got some weapons parts, yep, and we've stole a bypass shunt. Ooh. Security recommends using a simple easy recall code like 1234. Yep. Sounds good to me. Alright. So. Or should we go find these people quick and shake them down? I kind of like that idea too. First, let's go see if there's anything else we can steal though. Because stealing is fun and profitable. Provided you do it carefully, of course. Anything good around the gravesites here? Yeah, I know everyone's going to be inside, but I just want to look. You never know when there'll be, like, an interesting box around, right? Although, I really should probably go get a little bit into the world, but... Ooh, here's another, like, house. Is anyone home? Mmm, that door looks locked. Tragically, tragically locked. Well, that's too bad. Oh, is it the cannery down there? We could go check that out. Yeah, Ludwig Miller. Let's go give, uh... Let's go stop by and chat with him. I mean, I could have followed these nice, well-lit paths out here, of course, but I didn't. So, here we are. Anything I can steal really quick? Ooh, look at those. Never mind. I'm just gonna get excited by the technology. A guard. Ooh, vending machines. Okay. We haven't actually poked at any of these yet. Um, taste the freedom of Spacer's Choice. Offer a variety of items. Yep, yep, yep. So we could buy all kinds of things, like various foods and... What is this? Spacer's Chaw. Huh, okay. There are a lot of effects. I have no idea how we're ever going to get through, like, getting all these nailed down. Um, healing enhancers, ammo, stuff like that, better guns. Actually... Can I sell you... I can sell you this shovel. I think. Can I sell you this shovel? Oh, I've not like yet unlocked that ability. That's right. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And this one looks largely broken. And let's check this one. Um, board approved. Board mandated. Well, a bunch more weapons. Okay. Grenade launchers. All kinds of good stuff here. Impact hammers, ooh. And last but not least, oh, nope, this is just some more food. Okay. Well, we saw the guard over here. Hey, guard. What's up? Corporate technician. All right, but let's go find the guy that we're supposed to be yelling at. He was right over here. Hey, dude, I don't want to get into a fight because you'll kick my ass. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. Um. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Um... Let's... let's just tell him w w what's... what's up. <laughs> Silas sent me, he says you owe him your gravesite fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Totally. Absolutely. Uh, in that case, I will let you be. Well done. All right. Do you mind if I poke around in this building for a little bit? I'm not going to steal anything directly in front of you. Okay, there's a workshop. Um, I would like to steal that shunt, but not while you're in here. And the same with this toss ball stick. 
Why don't you just go ahead and wander off while I take a look at some of these signs? And another box that I can't pick. Okay, quick. Well, he's out of sight. Let's steal that. And let's steal this. And a bit cartridge. Yep. Quietly, quietly. He's not over there yet, right? Okay, good. He's gonna come back and just kind of wonder where all this stuff went. But he won't know. Nobody will ever know. So long, buddy. Alright, now let's head on inside. At long last. The Edgewater community. Well, here we are. Welcome to Edgewater. Um, hello, guard. I'm gonna leave you alone for the moment. Oh, there's gonna be all these, like, boxes and stuff around that I'm not gonna be able to open any of them, and it's gonna be so obnoxious. Oh, this one's open. Anyone see me? I'm just gonna take it all. That was actually a trash can. So that wasn't even stealing, technically. I love these sad robots. I love them. But yet, they're so sad. Why would you make your robots look so sad? I don't know. The world is mysterious to me. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. Jerks. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Honestly. Ooh, this is where you get a... Is this the Saltuna Cannery? It is indeed. Very nice. Well, we know that the one guy is actually, what, in here? Yeah, we know he at least lives near here. Hello? Terminal's unlocked. Um, let's see here. Logs. Alright, notice the Saltuna Canning Factory strictly adheres to Spacer's Choice standards of health and safety. Uh-oh. Schedule your sick leave. <laughs> be considered towards other members. Two to four weeks to process and approve your sick leave. Um, lost hours must be compensated to the company. See, read if you're having trouble, pay for them. We'll try to arrange wage deductions instead. Work invigorates the spirit. Sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with our local vicar. Well, aren't you a cheerful bunch? Can I close this door again before I start stealing things? I mean, in general, if it's not nailed down, it's free. And if I can peel it, if I cannot pick it up, it wasn't nailed down. Kind of the way I look at things. I really am digging the aesthetic in this place. This place is cool. Any interesting instructions or things I can steal? No. Well, maybe. Is there anyone around before I get all carried away? Yoink. Vendor, yep. I do like the idea of being able to uh, sell things to vendors. Well, obviously, because I'm going to need to be able to do that. Can I get up here? Because I see that box up there, and I want to get up there. Am I a bad enough dude to jump across a small gap? <laughs> oh, God. I hope I'm editing this out. There we go. Thank you for your bit cartridges. All right. Well, he's obviously not in here. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh wait, there's a guy over there. Okay, he's out of sight now. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I need these parts. I think I need them more than you do. Well, for being good guy Deco, I sure am uh, doing a lot of thieving. On the plus side, it's just petty thievery. Quiet. Just checking. The guy may actually be the one I'm supposed to be talking to. In fact, I think he is. No, that's just some guard. Alright, well, let's head up and let's talk to the guy. Is there anything around here I want to come back and steal a little later? Not over here quite as much. Or at the very least, I seem to have gone through most of it. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. The one that may require a little persuasion, huh? Anything in here I can steal? Let's check that first. Just checking. Just looking. Terminal's unlocked. Uh, messages. Um... Welcome. Okay. 
Um, Phyllis, owing to your hard work and positive attitude, I've sanctioned your access to medical treatment in the event of contagion. Oh, that's nice. I wish I could treat everyone who seeks uh, medical attention from the plague, but I can't. Medical privileges are strictly merit-based. Do not, under any circumstance, distribute your ration of medication to any other worker. Oh, huh, okay. Acid required. Oh, I can hack that. Nice. Okay. Um, Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me not to report his death in the quarterfiles. Sounds fair to me. Um, was his asked to prepare a statement or something for other workers? Been thinking about it. Don't know what to tell them. Don't end up like Theodore. Do your work. Show up. Wear a smile, and you'll get you'll matter, and you'll get your medical privileges. Yeah, you don't want to tell them then that he's dead because then he has to pay his graveyard fees. Thank you for the toss ball blocker. All right, let's have a chat. Hey, man. You the new worker? I'm sorry, lady. Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Um, I'm guessing you're the foreman? Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Mmm. Bad news. Well, I'm here to collect gravesite fees. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. No problem. Um, wait, these papers aren't signed in your name? Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Oh, that's nice of you. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Ah. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Um, okay, well, I'll let you get back to work. Uh, good talk. Thanks for the stuff, by the way. Is there anything else good over here? Another room. Hello? Free stuff? I can hear you. Guide to mechanical engineering, okay. Well, look at all this stuff. I love all the free stuff that's just lying around here. Okay, um, your terminal is unlocked. Let's see here. Notifications. Uh, symptoms of infections have now reached a critical mass. I've instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plagues reality of life, and as spacers, you're expected to face up to reality. In that reality is we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. If you find yourself some, uh, suffering the symptoms, the best thing you can do for yourself and your family is to dine your jumpers and come to work. Okay, well, you guys are you guys are kind of dicks, a little. Now, what was that guide I picked up? That was something new. Yeah, food. No, parts, parts, parts. Um. Okay. So, is that something I can use or? Does it just give me a passive thing? I mean, okay. I guess that's fine. Oh, that's right. I don't want to actually do that. I don't know if people mind if I wave a weapon around to them, but I'd rather not find out. Some people get rather touchy about things like that. I don't understand it either. But let's go find person number three. Yes, I'm stalling. But look at all this stuff I've gotten. I guess. I don't know if I've really gotten anything good or not. Um, yep, Edgewater. Hello. Welcome to the cantina. Alright. Seriously, I love the beginnings of these games. That like, oh, go on this quick fetch quest and look at all the stuff you can get. Hey, dehydrated water tablets. Awesome. Just add water. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Okay, that's weird. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Um... Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Mm-hmm. Um, take it easy. You know, uh... I heard you muttering to yourself, Ooh, so you want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Mm-hmm. 
All right, all right, all right. Because I'm pretty sure that you mentioned something about being plagued. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. When you're sick? Wait, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. I'm not gonna. All right, all right, all right. Why? What'll happen if I tell the constable? She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage is all. Hmm. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? Mm. Do a good turn for an expiring old man? <sighs> Depends what you need. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Oh. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Uh, maybe, maybe. All right, but hold on. First, I've got some questions for you. I'll do what I can. So, how about those gravesite fees? Um. Wait, you can't just buy it yourself. Tried medicating myself with Adrena time didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Mostly, just makes you go anyway, faster. I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. <laughs> Company policy. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Alright, come on, man. You don't look a day over 90. Tell myself the same thing every morning. You've seen those young workers at the cannery? What with their unbent spines and pristine knee joints? I can't compete with that. I hear that, man. All right, so I assume there's guards gathering this crap or watching this stuff. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Ooh. Okay. You never mentioned marauders, though. It is a reality of life in the Vale. Grass is brown, sky is gray, marauders are outside the walls. All right. So you'll do it then? Uh, fine. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can ah, feel it. My spleen. Um, also, uh, I'm here to co collect your, uh, graveside fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my graveside fees right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. Mm, okay. You know... For someone who just wandered in the door, you're taking a pretty awful risk trusting me. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Mm. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. I wonder why everyone's so afraid of him. All right, well, talk to you later. Mind if I steal any of your stuff? Can I steal stuff if you're not looking? Now he's got he's got a mirror. I probably shouldn't steal his stuff where he's looking. You got anything in here I can steal where you can't see? No. Well, it was worth checking. How about in the bathroom? Any of this stuff stealable? No. Alright, alright, alright. Well, anyway, let's take a look at our quest log here. No, 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 no. Let's, let's finish up our grave matter here, and then we'll go steal some better medication. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Why? What's your deal? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Why? Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Um, he's got symptoms of something, so you're saying it's psychosomatic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Oh, you have cobwebs. Okay, so why is it that you want it? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Okay. Well, I can persuade. Um... Why don't you let me worry about it? Just go ahead and tell me. And then if I feel like I can uh, turn you in probably for some money. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. 
and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. I've noticed. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Okay. Um, so you need someone to smuggle your medicine in under the table, huh? Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of lawbreaking, mm. but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. If you say so, I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. We'll see who offers me more, quite frankly. That's really the most important part. Alright, so we've got, like, a cantina here, right? Okay, yep, we'll come back to that. So now we know where that is. And we've got a barber shop. Ooh, really? I mean, I know one of our people is here. A barber shop, you say? Hello. I do have a head of luxurious hair in, in, in this game. I wish I looked this rugged. But I don't. Nor do I own a shotgun. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Space germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. But a little to the left. Mm-hmm. Relax, I'm clean. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. My hair is beautiful. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Hmm. Okay. Um... Let's just get straight to the point. So Silas sent me here to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. Oh. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Mm. That's, yes, means you're broke. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Hmm. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Got a very loose definition of the word prosperity here, man. Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, Done. but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Well, whoa, 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 hang on, whoa, hang on. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. Mm. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. So, yeah, just give him an IOU? Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! Ooh? No, that won't do. No. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Um, I will let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Aren't you just? All right. And you'd get all upset if I stole stuff. I don't suppose you want to leave for just a minute so I can steal your stuff? Is it okay if I look around in here? Ooh, a morgue. Hold on. Morgues often contain lots of dead people. Um, receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company's gonna have to call it for what it is. Destruction of property. Eugene was an asset. Uh, this is gonna ruin us, so I was thinking we pawn off his teeth. Oh, that's nice. A full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. Nice. Uh, just dig around and pry him out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet, use the bits to pay for his body, and nobody is the wiser. In fact, uh, don't talk back to me at all. Just give me a special signal. Waggle your eyebrows. Really? Here, I know you're really poor, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's take your stuff. You guys are dead. Ooh, hello. Bit cartridges, light ammo, adreno, and a laboratory outfit. Let's take a look at that. Um, tech skills plus five, armor three, so it's the same as my other one. Um, designed mostly to resist stains, but it might accidentally resist damage. Okay. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't need it, but it's cool. Does it look cool? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's way better. Yep, we're gonna rock this. I hope that, that guy doesn't notice out there. <gasps> An assault rifle, you say? Really? Do tell. Also, 
Where's that guy's, like, with his gold teeth? Because I could just dig those teeth out. Okay, 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 okay. An assault rifle. Ooh, the ultimate spray and pray weapon. Pray it also doesn't break. <laughs> so, um, so this uses heavy ammo. Um, it does a staggering effect. It shows, let's see here, 10 shots per second, um, 20% crit. Um, uses heavy armor, and it's effective between probably 0 to 50, and then all the way up to 200. Whereas, actually, if you take a look at, for example, the shotgun, much shorter range, and then the pistol is kind of, you know, sort of a medium ground there. I wonder if this guy is going to notice, if Silas is going to notice, that I'm wandering out dressed in the uh, clothes that I just stole off some dead guy. Actually, I wonder if I can offer him the teeth. What can I do for you? Um, let's see here. So I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? That's really not relevant. Um, yeah. None of your business. Sorry, man. You probably heard it from one of our local gossip mongers. Sure. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. <laughs> he took them to his grave. Um, I'm sure he won't miss him. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. Mm. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I could. Um, Matt, yeah, you're gonna have to, man. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Nice. Um, actually, I'm curious. I, I was told that Eugene killed himself, so what exactly happened? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. Um. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Uh. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. Okay. So the town never pays a penalty for that, huh? We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. Yes. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Of course, they're expensive. Anyway, nice talking to you. Okay, let's let's take a look here. God, we've got a lot of new stuff here. So I've got some good melee weapons here. So toss ball stick. It's actually... Here, let's compare these two weapons. Oh, this is neat. So one-handed melee and two-handed melee. Yeah. One-handed melee, that does a lot more damage. But it causes bleeding. It's kind of cool. But on the other hand, sword. I mean, the sword is... You know, strictly speaking, not nearly as good. But, 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 sword, let's see what it looks like. And then we already looked at this stuff, and we've got some other stuff in here, like thinking caplets, which make us smarter, mock juice, yep, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, we've got a better barrel. Increases crit damage, okay. And um, decreases the loss of weapon durability, that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, our larger magazine. So let's see what this looks like. Is it cool? <laughs> Sorry. My bad. How about I come in here and shut the door and play with it a little? Alright, that is that is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, and what was the two-handed one? Because I should check it out. Um, two-handed melee. Which actually... Oh, this is still comparing it to the other thing. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Let's see here. Yeah, this is the one I want. Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, now I've got a big glowy stick, so that's pretty cool too. Alright, um... I see the time, but let's go turn this quest back in. So we can kind of get that taken care of here. Just so we kind of know what's going on. And what else is over here? These look like just homes. I'll break in and steal your stuff later. Don't worry about it. Let's go and let's turn this back on in. All 
All right, Silas, got some good news for you. Got all kinds of money and teeth and stuff, and well, not teeth yet. You're gonna have some teeth though. Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. That is a good attitude. Hey, I got those fees you wanted. You run into any trouble? Mm, no, no, no. It's all done. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Isn't it? Um, let's see here. So I could kind of push Adam hard and see if I could get any money. Um, but actually, I'm curious about your reaction to Abernathy. So Abernathy was trying to hold his own, hide his own illness. Abernathy was sick with the plague. That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. Um, he thought that you knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? No. Um, okay, should I push him for more money? Yeah, sure, you know, I did go out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Alright. Ah, I'll hold you to that. Good enough. Alright, so, let's take a look here. So, um, now we've got a whole bunch of factions. Where's that listed in here? Um, not Codex, I don't care about any of that. Reputations, here we go. So... Spacer's Choice. So we are now slightly positive. So, hooray! So as we complete quests, we should get cooler and cooler options available to us, I guess. And discounts and all sorts of good things like that. And also not get shot on sight. But, at this point, having done just a little bit of robbery and, um... Well, maybe we'll still do some grave digging. I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and let's take a break. So, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.